What is up, Mary people? Welcome back to Mary Lance. Today I'm be reacting to celebrities impersonating other celebrities with references. I'm just gonna put it out there and let you guys know, like I really don't know a lot of celebrities. I'm one of those people that really is rarely ever starstruck, etc., etc. So if I don't know any of these names, don't judge me. If you're ready for this reaction, give me a thumbs up. Let's press play. Uh, my name is Wendy Sky. <coughs> Did I? I don't know who Chris, Chris Hems. Well, I've heard the name, but I don't know what he sounds like. I like him on the right, by the way. He has this Netflix show that's so funny. I wonder if it's ever coming back. Easy or something like this. She got that quickly. I know. Is this the character name? Hey, guys, Chris Pratt here. <laughs> you came on the set and you're like this dynamo. I'm trying to close my eyes and see if it sounds like him. I don't know who what Jack Nicholson sounds like, just like I thought. I know him, of course. R.I.P. We're standing backstage because they're just about to take you to the press conference and he goes, no, Robbo, now I have one for every decade. It's an unusual choice of occupation for a sort of centrally placed. So that is, can you do maybe Kristen Stewart, like, explain what Pitch Perfect 3 is about? <laughs> um, mm, I feel like I know who that um, is. You know, there's like, the Bellas are out of college and, um, you know. This hair, though, on, I um, can't. USO tour, and there's like, you know, hilarious ensues, so. <laughs> So is it's that like Kristen Stewart? I'm not sure if it's in the, I said something in a magazine where I was like, I smile, I swear, like I actually smile a lot. It's weird that that like uh, notion is so perpetuated. So I can't have the cards, I need the cards. Okay. <laughs> you have an old don't worry. Okay, so okay, I see. So they show the actual impersonation after. I'm slow. So Because you don't, you didn't get to use this skill uh, in in uh, the actual uh, Star Wars trilogy, but I understand that uh, you're quite an impressionist. Is that the case? Well, it's not that I'm an impressionist, but when you tell stories, you sort of affect whatever person that you're doing to try and get the flavor for mm -hmm. for what you're talking about. I remember I was complaining to Harrison that my hair didn't match from the last scene, and mm -hmm. it was bad for continuity. And Harrison's comment was, "Hey, kid." If the audience is looking at your hair, we're all in big trouble. <laughs> well, it's a fantasy. It's not science fiction so much as it is space it's close. fantasy. At least it's the pace people. that he talks in. It's about, fine, it's finally about people and not finally about science. Mallory? Yeah, that's right. I don't know who that is. My mom has got that. Marty McFly. I never saw that show. Are you telling me? You wow. 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 Yeah. We're going to die. Are you telling me you built a time machine? All right, he, he did all right. Kind of a DeLorean? The way I see it. You can't just do the all right, all right thing anymore. I love this guy. But what you got to do is throw in a little Texas whistle in there. And it goes <laughs> I like him from, um. what is that show I'm watch I watched recently? <laughs> Dead to Me. Hey, like, I, he plays you, his role so well. Step outside of my AIR stream. I'll make you a margarita blow your horns off. <laughs> Put it in the glove box. We drive. He doesn't say a word. Matthew Four, like, five minutes, I'm sitting there with the hell's in the glove box. And he goes, open up the glove box, buddy, make sure it's still there. Yeah, it was a uh, tribute. Yeah, right. Who's Don Rickles? So I, I don't know none of these people. I know Matthew, obviously. I know, like, every other one. I run back real quick, and uh, he's sitting in a chair, and I said, I said, hey, Don, I just want to let you know, you know, you don't wish you luck and everything. He goes, he goes, John, you're here, and you're not late. The truth of it is, there was such a, and folks, every time, I, I, every time I'm here, I look out, and I, I kept to think, I'm going blind. Right? <laughs> you people on television don't know, it's, it's all flat in there, even I don't know, I got cataracts. I can't. <laughs> Chris Evans. Chris Evans. I know Chris yeah. Evans. And, um, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh man. Okay. Yeah. Is that what it sounds like? Oh, there it 
face cam, man. It's pretty rocking. <laughs> so it must be good because the other dude's laughing. He wasn't wearing his costume like I was. And he was just like, dude. Really? I was watching it on TV, man. I mean, what? Oh my god. You know, maybe, maybe, maybe the hardest part about being the sexiest man of the year is then the next year not being the sexiest man of the year. So I called Robert. I said, listen, I, I need you to play a Mexican. He says, dude, uh, here's the deal. Sure. Fuck it. <laughs> sure. Why not? Fuck it. Sure. Of course. And by the way, there's a lot to be said for how these genre movies... And I don't know if these people sound like them, but I think it's funny that they try. Give me your best Woody. Woody Allen. I know the name. Don't put me on the spot like that. Cause I, you know, it gives me... Palpitation. Palpitation. It makes me feel like... Oh, I can't. Because I've won a few Oscars. Oh, that's guys, pretty so good. Like, that was good. That they were calling to get them back. And I panicked because the... the I don't know why I thought Woody Allen was a music person, not a movie person. The legs look a little bit rubbery, you know what I mean? What are you talking about, Tom Snyder? You know what I mean? Say I'm slowing down. Everybody say I'm slowing down. I'm still fast. I'm still so pretty. That does sound like Muhammad. Yeah, I'm 35 years old, and a mark on my face. I look so good, you know. I'm fast. I can turn out the lights of my bedroom, be in the bed before the room gets dark. See, come on down, Ali, out of the galley. I want you to come up here. That was dead on. Some of the drink. What do you want? They're giving me number one spot from the galley to the number one spot. I said, this shit must be sinking. Why is he so nice to me now? Here's here's my impression of Ray Romano playing golf. But I need your help. Oh sure. Can you do like the sound of a of a golf like a like a you know thing? You just did it. Ready? Ready? Oh. Oh, that's messed up. Come on. <laughs> oh, be right. <laughs> be right. First of all, it's flattery. Isn't that supposed to be the highest form of flattery? Yes. Oh, Ray, Ray. Everybody loves Ray or something like this, right? Raymond. It's like a double insult because, well, he's making fun of my, my voice and he's making fun of my golf game. Now, yes, I was just about to say. It was John Wick. But I see now this is why I'm not because uh, I can't read. So that, I can't read the movie. response. Well, yeah, I thought, it's not out yet, is it? Well, I don't know, but I, I just thought it'd be funny if uh, instead of going to the door and, and saying trick or treat, I, I I brandished a gun and I said, uh, "People keep saying I'm back. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking I'm back." That sounds like him a bit. A bit. People keep asking if I'm back. Oh wow. And I haven't really had an answer. But now, yeah. I'm thinking I'm back. Eddie Murphy, what do you think of the link? Yeah, what do you think of the sauce? Amazing, hey, man. The sauce is amazing, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to figure out why I even Who's this guy? Is, you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just we know Eddie guy. Murphy, I'm saying. Who's him? Like Who's this guy? Stuff, you know what I'm saying? You know spice. I go to, I go to Indian clubs. I know spice in this. Eddie, that's what some people say. You know, they're like, they expect our hot sauce to be His like, eyes. hot sauce. But we wanted a good tasting, smooth hot sauce. But I think that's a fair, it's a very it's smooth, it's a very cool, smooth hot sauce. I wish they'd have me on that show. I, I love hot I ones. Well, like just seeing the thumbnails, I've never watched it. I went to the city when I came out of park in Freeport, and I had a car with nice hubcaps on. I came back one night, and my hubcaps were gone, you know, and I took somebody else's hubcaps. He did not. He designed his own set. He designed his own lighting and apocalypse now, and just Marlon Brando. I don't know any of these people. I feel like I live under like in a bubble. So you can do that. Go ahead. That does sound like Drew Barrymore. I'm just, I'm just, I'm so honored to be in attendance today. Okay, thank you so much. That does sound like her. I'm talking about substitute teaching. I'm so, so grateful to be here. Who's the teacher? Her name is Abby, Abby Adamson. And oh my gosh, Abby, I love your name so much. She's like, Abby. I want to thank you, Michael, for taking a chance on me because I know I Oh my god, y'all better leave Drew Barrymore alone. That, for the longest, that used to be my favorite movie. That, that movie by her, Never Been Kissed. So cute. Jeff Spicoli's girlfriend, but like with the lisp and the paralysis, I don't, I, there's no way you could have. Thank you for taking the 
chance on me. Um, oh, she I'm had a list. And paralysis. I'm actually just going to do a much more uh, refined Batman, actually. I'm the hero that got the meat right now. Not the one that you deserve. But I'm going to tell you something. So is he I'm, impersonating I'm himself? You, you princes of Gotham. You, you, you veritable uh, uh, princes of, of, of crime jokers, uh, all of you. Yeah, I'm you're a joker. <laughs> anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, definitely give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment below other videos that you like for me to react to. If you're not a part of our family, definitely subscribe. We're the dopest of life. We are creating something magical here in Maryland, so don't blink. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Mwah. <laughs>